it stepping. That's the keep it stepping ring. That's right. Keep it stepping ring. Keep it stepping ring. That way. That way. Not this way. No, yeah, this way. No, no. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm taking I'm sorry. Uh-oh, sorry. Uh -oh, sorry. <laughs> this Porsche ain't gonna put up with nothing without some coins behind it I'm just gonna say that well, and I'm not saying through with the coin in. right but when through. the coins drained up Porsche probably was like it's enough and then the lawsuits piling on it's love you know what's love well, got to no, do ain't with nobody finna deal with ain't nobody dealing with all that I wouldn't either it seemed too much right 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 what to do with it y'all this is such a crazy this help coming to you 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 and you with another word on the street segment make sure you like comment subscribe and share this video today's my birthday y'all so in the comments and wish you girl a happy birthday if you want to but yes it's my birthday and happy easter but let's get into this portia williams and simon messy ass divorce yet again so if y'all haven't seen this video definitely go hit that tab in the upper right hand corner so you can get the deets on that but in that particular video i was talking about how simon he didn't want portia or real housewives of Atlanta to be on the property filming anything okay so baby girl can't even have a cookout or a little pool party if she wanted to all right now he also did want her to turn over the bravo contract she got with bravo as well as any text messages that she shared with the producers about their divorce now simon is asking the judge to stop portia williams from deleting text messages from another man and i'm like wait a minute wait a minute didn't she just see your ass well allegedly because we don't know for sure this is what they're you know saying they witnessed and stuff like that but didn't she see three different ladies over at the crib mm -hmm. three different nights so yeah this is like an invasion of privacy don't you think like what's this have to do with it you know what i'm still married so i don't know so let's go ahead and continue to get into this mess Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia X Simon demanded she not destroy any text messages she exchanged with a man by the name of Kelvin. Okay, according to court documents obtained by Raider Online, Gabadia notified Portia to keep all evidence, including all communications she had with a man named Kelvin, all messages between Portia and her sister Lauren. And all messages between the Bravo star and Karen McKinney. Who that? Who Karen McKinney, y'all? Let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, in addition to Simon demanding she keep all co communications between them, any cell phones and cell phone data, all of her income and financial records, and various other documents, his notice read, Portia is further notified that a failure to comply with this notice may result in sanctions for any destruction or failures to preserve any such evidence including without limitation adverse interferences against petitioner at trial sanctions as well as an award of expenses and attorney fees necessitated by such conduct going on in this damn child simon did not explain his reasoning for asking portia to keep the messages around as they duke it out in divorce court why the hell not you want me to show all my you want to play all my cards you want me to put all my cards on the table you gonna do the same i i hope portia you asking him for his all his cards especially with his past criminal history child y'all both some mm -mm. i want to give you your anniversary gift. Oh boy. <laughs> um, I just want to say that I love you so much. I adore you from now to infinity and beyond. Oh, even boy. after death. <laughs> so I wanted to get you something to show you how our love goes on and on and on. Oh my. Another ring? <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what is that? <laughs> this is called bitches. Keep the f moving. <laughs> Are you blind? Do you see that on that brother? <laughs> you see that on that man? Does he look single to you? Well, that didn't age well, and I did it. But moving right along. 
Now, word around the town is a word on the street, word on the curb, word on your block and my block. Michelle Brown, aka TLN, reads through the latest documents found by, well, filed by Simon and Portia. Now, in Simon's filing, part of his request is that the documents communications be preserved and do not be destroyed by multiple parties listed in the petition. One particular name that was listed in the petition stands out was Mr. Kelvin. Now, y'all remember I mentioned him at the beginning. Now, they're saying he is being referenced as Portia's manager. And I'm like, I don't think, well, like I said, this is allegedly, I don't know. Never knew she had a manager. I thought the same. So, I'm like, hmm. And it's kind of a coincidence that his name is brought up in this petition. That he wants, Simon wants the records, phone records of them talking to be shown and not hid. So I'm like, mm -mm, Portia, what were you doing? What was you doing out here in these streets while you getting on Simon? But y'all both wrong at the end of the day. You know, nobody's perfect. So y'all just yeah, do y'all own things and... Speed it up with this divorce, baby, because child, y'all are doing too much in these streets. Do you feel me? Who was interested first? Who said I love you first? Who's more protective? Who cleans more? Who eats the most? Who spends the most money? Who is most likely to start an argument? Who falls asleep first? Who is more annoying? Well, y'all tell me y'all thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about this whole ordeal between Simon and Portia? Now, they been saying out here in these streets, how you lose them is how you got them. Now, we don't know detail for detail. But it was looking a little shady. You know, all of a sudden, you done got with Simon after the whole Fallon situation. But anywho, like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next word on the street. And y'all make sure y'all be blessed, take care, and see you on the next one. It's, it's, it's going to take an act of God for anybody to knock me off. Good night. To knock me off, not not a mere reality show can do that.